Vincent Everett, Strand Watcher. I'm here in Venlo and I'm at Solaris, a solar company, a solar company in the Netherlands, which came out of Sweden University and Fallenval. Let's take a look into the factory. This company has been existing for eight years, 10 years. It came out of Sweden, out of university, and they've created this system which creates heat and electricity in one panel and has an efficiency of about 75% much higher than the 21% you can have out of uh, flat panel electricity. And uh, we'll take a look at the secret sauce, which is these panels here on the top. So here we're in the central factory hall. Pretty nice place. I'm here with Lane Zevenberg. He's the CEO of this uh, solar factory. It looks very clean, uh, yeah. this factory. Yeah, I think it's very important what Elon Musk always says. The floors need to be shiny yeah. and everything needs to be sharp. Yeah, yeah, I just went in the factory of Tesla and this looks exactly like uh, a clean place. So what are we looking at here, uh, Lane? This is, uh, this is uh, the factory of Solaris. Yeah, we are looking here at uh, a factory where all the machines basically are new. There are only very few machines from the normal solar industry that we can use, and you will see them later on as well. And for the rest, we had to make our own machines basically to build the, the panels that we have to collect for us. Let's see, take a look. So I'm uh, talking to Jaco here, and he's the co-founder uh, co of the company, or the CEO. And we're looking here, what kind of products are we having in the background? We have this uh, power collector in the background, and they are ready for, for uh, shipment to all the countries. Uh, formerly, or majorly, they will go to uh, India and South Africa. Okay, and how many do you make now a week? Um, more or less 50 a week. We can ramp up production, Very so good. we're currently busy to do this. Let's see how they're being made. Okay, so here we look at the, uh, the beginning product. What, what do we see here? This is the receiver. This is the core technology of our uh, power collector. And these are normal solar cells we're using, but we're using them in four different strings. Let's see. So they're smaller than normal solar cells, eh? but you, you've cut them in, uh, in uh, you've one cut third. them. We, we cut them in one third. Yeah. It's a higher efficiency. And we also make four strings out of them. You see them on a collector, there are four strings. Yep. And this has to do with shading. If there is, uh, there's always shade sometimes. Yep. And when you have shade on one part of your string. Yeah, the whole solar panel doesn't work. Yeah. And with you, you make small strings so that a little bit of shade doesn't make uh, only influences 10 or 20 percent. So that's, uh, that's being done here, the cutting and the making the strings. Yes. What does this machine do? This is a so-called tapping and stringer machine. And this is soldering the, the individual solar cells to one string. Okay, so basically it creates, it creates these, kinds of, uh, these kinds of things. Uh, it solders them all together. And I see the difference in color. The one is dark blue and the other one is light blue. What's the difference? The difference is that the, the light blues aren't, they don't, aren't covered yet with the silicon. Yeah, and yeah. the dark blues are covered with silicon. Okay. So what machine is this? This is so-called EL tester. And this is, uh, you can see cracks and, and, and breakage of cells, which you can't see by the eye. Uh -huh. So these are, in this, in this uh, room, if you look, open it up, yeah. there are, there are uh, cameras, yep. very good cameras, and much better than the eye. And they're basically being tested, you can see here, extremely small voltage. So this is all quality, uh, quality security. Cool. So we're at a break, so we can see it. But here are the mirrors being made. So, uh, yeah, so this is the, the it is so one part of the solar light is reflected uh, directly and one of them goes through a mirror. Yes, that's correct. And that, that makes the higher outcome. That's yeah, both sides, the both the sides. Design. That's the cleverness of the design, actually. Yeah. So we have here a big tower. So what's happening here in this tower? In this tower, we're testing the peak performance of the electricity. Okay, so you put the panel in here. And then uh, there's a big uh, light which uh, is like the sun and you see if the whole thing uh, works. Yes, that's what it is. The last quality control of the panel. It looks pretty simple process. It, it is, it is, but it is a lot of technology involved actually before you uh, get this process. Yeah, so producing it is not very difficult. It's just more developing and uh, you have good IP. Yeah, very good IP actually. Mm, we'll see how good that is. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and this, what is the efficiency of this panel when it's all done? When it's all done, we have uh, 1500 uh, watt, what we can uh, produce, and 250 more or less electricity, and 1250 uh, heat. Yeah. Out of two square, square meters? Yes, out of two square meters. Okay. And, and, uh, and the end user cost is? The end user cost, yeah, that it's, it's around 500 euros per collector, mm -hmm. but then you have also the installation, and this is 
it differs if you have a domestic solution or you have another solution. So it differs a little bit. Okay, so this panel, this panel which you produce is only 500 euro. Yeah, it's 500 euros. And, and you need one or two panels per for normal family. Well, for normal, for normal purposes, you would say you would need four, four to eight panels okay. in the Netherlands because we we are using a lot of electricity and heat here. If yeah. you go to to South Africa, yeah. a, a normal house can do with one panel actually. Okay, because you need less heat and you need less uh, le yes. electricity. And, uh, but you can also combine a hundred of them for offices? Yes, you can. We're actually doing this. More than hundreds of them. Just how, how unique is this? I mean, it seems like, I cannot imagine this is very unique to yes. combine power and solar and electricity. Is this really so special? Yeah, it is. Because we actually we are the only one in the world who are able to produce. There are a lot, there are only in Venlo, only, only at Solaris. Codangelo is the COO here. Um, how much could this factory, how many panels, you do now 50 a week, how much could you do with this uh, here? We could we could grow up to, let's say, 200 a week, actually, in this facility. In this and particular facility. Yeah, and maybe we can, actually, we can make a little bit more, but let's say 200 a week yeah. for now, and then uh, and then we can ramp up. But you can make it a little bigger building and do a thousand or five thousand, and uh, it, it, the production is not a problem. No, production is not a problem. It is. It is also the development of the tooling because this uh, panel is so special. Mm -hmm. We have to develop all the tooling ourselves. It's not available on the market, and this is what this is. Let's say the the biggest bottleneck. The bottleneck. Okay. Lee Zevenberg is the CEO of Solaris, and he's constantly talking international business, driving around the world. I want to have a quote from him. John Lundgren is the CEO of, no, he's the chairman of the board, and uh, you've been working on eight years on this company. It had been a long time before no, this uh, came to production, eh? Yes, well, I've been on it for about three years, but oh, yeah. nevertheless, we have been working on it for a long time. Yeah. And uh, Why did it take so long before, you know, the actual first factory was done? Um, well, that, that is basically a good question. I think there's a number of reasons for that. We have been continuously developing the product. We've been doing various projects to get more input from reality, so to say. Yeah. Uh, and then buying the machines, getting them uh, uh, fine-tuned and everything has taken too long time, I would say, of course. Yeah, but it also came out of university. It has to go it production and it's commercial. They've invested eight to ten million dollars into this uh, whole venture. So, uh, and now it's taking, uh, now it's really going to production. Now the, really yes. the, the rubber is going to have to hit the road. Absolutely, absolutely. H hit the ground running. Very good. So, Lane Zevenberg, you were talking again international. How do you see this company developing? Uh, it's now, the product is now sort of ready. The first 50 a week are being produced. Uh, how long does it take to wrap up, uh, the ramp up this, uh, this company? Well, we can, uh, we are planning now to do in this factory 25,000 next year, but in different other factories because we can easily make copies of this factory. Yeah, assembly plans yeah. and we are talking to other countries now to have assembly plans so then by the end of next year we should do 50 to 100,000 panels and then that ramps up to uh, more than a million yeah. in a couple how, how good is the business case if you se talk about 75 percent uh, you know efficiency the di business case where is the business case the easiest to be made and how long will it uh, be for the industry to recognize this uh, this case yeah. Yeah, the, the business case is the easiest to recognize in um, factories that need low-cost heat, so heat until 70, uh, 80 degrees, they immediately s see it, mm -hmm. and um, hospitals, uh, apartment buildings, hotels, the whole hotel industry, they have a 70-30% of heat electricity, mm -hmm. so that is their energy uh, base. Yeah. So the energy base of those buildings and households is exactly the output of our panel. So that's what the business case is the best. Mm -hmm. And that, and then you have a cheap, a cheap, uh, very cheap solution. Okay. And that, but how long the energy for the uh, as in any uh, disruptive technology? This is a disruptive technology. Yeah, but it seems so simple. It just yeah. produces heat and electricity, and yeah. you know, five hundred dollars a panel. You know, it is really not. Uh, it's really not so difficult to uh, to no, calculate. No, well, it's not but it is not so. See, the installation requires uh, people who know about heat and yeah. people who know about electricity. So yeah. it's not click, click, click like an electricity panel. But uh, the, the still the price per watt installed yeah. is much lower than uh, than than the normal price. Okay. Thank you for your time, Lane. And uh, uh, thank you. this was Solaris Venlo, a company which is going places. This was my visit to uh, Venlo. Uh, Solaris is an interesting company. Solar has the future and combining heat, which is about one third of the total, in total um, uh, energy 
capacity of the world and one third electricity and one third uh, for transportation. Uh, this is a perfect company. This, is, uh, this should be a product which time has come and, uh, and they seem to be able to produce it cheap enough. So they need to ramp up to do volume and make it more known. Solaris.com.